What is going on guys? Welcome to Po Boys. Me and Asa are at the junkyard because I need a rear end for my car. When you look for row five, they said they have a few Mustangs there. That's a 96, a 99, the 04. Yep, that's a new edge. A GT. It is a GT. Yep, rear end is gone. All right, let's keep on going. It's a 98, it looks like it might have been a GT. Caleb. See these tail lights? These things are sweet. You should get them for your car for a new edge. <gasps> Rear bumper. This deck lid though. Oh shit. It's not dented. I do need a deck lid. The shocks are also good on it. I should have just went here. All right, so V6, same tail lights as me. Damn, Gavin needs this right here. You know how long he's been looking for one? That's a GT. Oh boy. It's also got a rear end. Hey, it's also got wheels that you need. Those are freaking nice wheels too. And a deck lid. I mean, it's got EE oh, exhaust. Yeah. Hey, eBay quad tip. Hell yeah. Stick chrome. Look at how nice all this is. I know. Has trash control and all that. Yeah. Even got some weird ass seat covers. This is probably the one that got in here today. This thing hasn't been touched. Well, here's the rear end we're going to use. All right. Well, we found the car. This is the car. Let's take it apart. Austin made it here. Everyone knows Austin from the old videos from Crack Rock. In the good old days. All right, so while we were in here, we seen a switch, this guy right here, which I ordered the wrong one, but we're gonna see if this guy works. All right, in theory, it should go down and it should also go up. I also just need to have the keys in the ignition. All right, goes down, goes up. Oh, yeah. oh boy, we got windows now. Yours goes down. down. Mine just goes down. What? We have windows now. <laughs> Those are nice wheels. Oh, sh these have a key. That's what I just did. This is the wrong size though. Nope. Yeah, there's a fake $20 bill that was sitting in here. Ah, uh, it's prop money like your shit. It'd be funny if it worked in something. You said there's a $20 bill and I was like, no way. All right, give me a socket and hammer. Um. At least I got the tricks. Break or loose, boy. All right. He doesn't get it with that. Oh, he got it. There we go. Uh, I know you love me. I can't tell you how many times I've had to do that at work. People are like, oh, I don't know where to put my key. Hold on, where you go? Ape wild. I don't know if that's gonna work because I hammered it on there pretty damn good. Get the wheel off of it, like let the wheel rest. There you go. Well, here's my rear end that I need. All right, so I'm getting the brakes off of this guy right now. Damn, it's a big spider. This brake line's like right in the fucking way. I got this awesome tool right here, Poe, called Move Your Hand. All I need is to get that wrench behind there and get that 15. It's just that uh, fuel line or the brake line's in the way. There's still a bolt in it? You still got a bolt in it. Fuck yeah, it. I fucking know. I'm telling you, I'm trying to oh. move it so I can get to the bolt. Oh, you're gonna drive away, <laughs> right? I've been telling y'all, that's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> I, you were trying to get <laughs> I was like, hitting it's not going to do I much. Like, I got some dykes. Oh, that's steel. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be steel rated. Dykes. May Wait, let me see. Hacksaw. That'll definitely work. And I may or may not have my saw. I got this. Yeah, you got post strength, bro. It bent the... Yeah, bent the bar. <laughs> All right, sweet. Oh, almost has this one cut in half. That'll give me some wiggle room. Hang on. All right. Whew. There we go. That's what we needed. All right, guys, so taking the brakes off. Pretty easy if you can't tell. It's all rusty. Yeah. All right, brakes off. Hang on. All right, so now I need to take this rear shock off. There we go. Oh, really? How many minutes? 40. Oh, we got this. You want to get under there and under the drum shaft? Oh, there's a hole in the gas tank. I hope I don't catch myself on fire. Um, do you have any stars? Like a 12, probably. There's a 12. Bingo! All right, so we have Asa working on that side over there. Austin's getting the drive shaft down here. I'm getting the quad shock right here. So we're all getting work. We have 40 minutes left till this place closes down. Is this thing in gear? Uh, maybe. How am I gonna spin it? Is the shifter, is the shifter like on a truck? I'm shimmy my way over there and put it in neutral my damn self. <gasps> you have that hammer by chance? Me. Well, I fucked up fucking Poe. Try to use a quarter inch adapter to knock a bolt out. Now the bolt's out, but the adapter's still in. All right, GoPro dies. I'm using my G7X. I got pretty much this whole side done. Just need to take the top side of the four link out. Austin got the drive shaft out. Ace is getting that side, and we should be ready to go soon. Hey, as soon as that comes out, this whole rear end's coming out on my side. All right, mine's out. All 
All right. If you can't tell, this is super fun. Here, you drive that screwdriver around from the back. I'm probably gonna have to lift up on both sides. Oh, never mind. Right, this is what we've been needing this whole damn time. This is Are you ready now? Yeah. One, two, go. Well, my way? Yeah. The rear end's out of the car and it's on the cart. We're heading out. And it's your cart. Guess what? Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to babysit these tools because they flipped off the cart while I was pulling it. The Kind of like such rear end if we could talk right now i would just have to let you know of the life of abuse you're about to endure you might return here very soon there rear end yes it's just the rear end no brakes or anything like that they're kicking us out they're closing down literally the second we got done all right there's the rear end in the back of the truck thank you asa thank you austin we need to wash it and then put it in the race car it looks like it might have been leaking yeah it looks like it was and we need to get a new dust shield on each side and then it'll be send it time yeah, well, I don't even know what gears they're in. <laughs> I forgot to check. It don't matter. We can buy gears. It's whatever. All right, well, we're going to take it home, get some stuff from my dad's house. All right, guys, so the truck. Last night, I got pretty busy with it. Got the headlights all figured out. I picked up Crack Rock yesterday. The dirt bike Crack Rock. Finally going to make videos with it, and I'm actually pretty excited to do all that. It's been a long time coming with this bike, so I can't wait for that. I also installed new speakers in the truck. I also installed uh, a few more things, like the... Uh, the windshield wiper switch that was giving me problems earlier installed that have an amp that i'm going to install and i'm also going to install some subs and then a fan sent in some underglow and i'm going to install that a little bit later too but either way guys thank you very much for watching have a good one and remember to freaking just kidding y'all have a good one So fast forward like a few days, I think. Basically what I've got going on here, I have the stuff from maxspeedingrods.com. Go follow them on Instagram and go check out their website. They've got a lot of parts actually. They got billet crankshafts, uh, forged pistons, all the good stuff. They got four link for my car, which all the suspension parts are, you kind of need everything in order to do it. So they decided to send me everything. So right here, we've got the adjusters, some hardware, the top side of the four link, rear shocks, bottom sides of the four link, rear coils, front coilovers, and cam caster plates everything looks really nice quality i mean everything's all machined the welds look pretty good on the four link the rear shocks are threaded and everything with the four link set up it's coil on bucket and that's how the suspension is set up on the car because the way that my car is set up this is how it has to be i can't really have coilovers on the back end it just doesn't work out as well because the shock tower isn't big enough or wide around enough to put the coilovers in there so i've got a really good setup right now for suspension i'll also be able to have the car a little bit lower so thank you very much to max speeding rods for helping me out with those products and honestly i recommend them for anybody because they have good prices and it's really worth it because getting your car lower i mean are you going to pay a lot of money or are you going to pay not a lot of money for the same quality so realistically i'd go with max speeding rods thank you guys for helping me out with those we're going to put all that stuff on there as well as the new rear end that i just picked up i got it power washed it's leaking right now because it was sitting upside down not too long ago but that'll be for the next video i just wanted to show you all that the quality of this stuff right here is freaking great and if anything go to maxspeedingrods.com see if they have any parts for your car but uh thank you all very much for watching have a good one and remember to always freaking send it <laughs>
Two-step installed. Simple as that. All right, now let's go do some boom. All right, so after you install that two-step, you're gonna need to do a little bit of motor work. So um, you just grab a cam, which I happen to have one. You install it just the same way. Um, passenger seat works great. So now I have a cammed car with two-step, and it'll be able to go uh, pretty daggum fast as far as I'm concerned. So um, that's, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and remember to freaking set.